May 31st marks 100 years since the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre, one of the most devastating attacks against the black community and really in American history. After World War I, Tulsa, Oklahoma's Greenwood District, also known as Black Wall Street, was nationally recognized as a thriving business district and really a haven before it was destroyed. So now we are remembering that moment and rising through music. Picture this, Greenwood Ave, red men playing, she's a brilliant film by a black man's hand. It was for us, by us, false prop, fly us, hold us, try us, leg, leg, got us, we radiate. Allow me to introduce you to Fire in Little Africa, a multimedia hip-hop project remembering the 1921 massacre of Tulsa's Greenwood neighborhood, which was described by Dr. View, the executive producer of the project, as a real-life Wakanda. The album was created with a simple mission, to educate. It's a compilation hip-hop album commemoration of Greenwood, just to tell the true story, the localized stories um, of our ancestors, and uh, to really commemorate 100 years later what was lost. Inspired by rapper J. Cole and Dr. View's very own dissertation, which was done in the form of a hip-hop album, he made his vision come to life. We got 60 artists from primarily the, the major cities, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and Lawton. This was an Oklahoma project. We recorded 143 songs in those five days. The Fire in Little Africa album was born in the heart of Greenwood at the Greenwood Cultural Center and inside Skyline Mansion, which was formerly owned by one of the ringleaders of the Tulsa Race Massacre, powerfully representing resilience and leading Dr. Bue and his team to the attention of an iconic music label. Um, ended up getting a meeting with Motown. They said, yo, we want to do a deal with you all. We want to uh, distribute through Black Forum. Um, and then not to mention, we, we got the opportunity to work with Beyonce's publicist, who is uh, Yvette Noel Shore. So mm -hmm. just the national, international attention on Lulu Greenwood, it's just, it's just been really dope. Throughout history and in the present, the black community persists. We keep fighting. We keep creating. And we keep shining. I always knew you had the glow, but now they see you from the coast. I tell them keep on shining. The song itself was 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 written to to reimagine what Greenwood was like prior to the massacre. These jewels go. This shine ain't free. For a bus, they do it's the Rubik's of our history. It's that it's war from time that you'll have a moment where you're listening and you're like, oh, this sounds really dope. But once you start to explore what the artists are really saying, it's like, oh, they're really pulling back some layers. So it's, we're talking about Tulsa specific, you know, things, history, but it's really connected to this larger discussion around racism, gratuitous violence, um, liberation for black folks in America. So what does this album say to not only the black community, but to the world? I just say everything is us because when creatives come together and really explore like history and art and music and tech and they put it all together and stir it up like it's it's a beautiful thing we what it looks like in a hundred years time got the audacity to walk up out these ashes and shine we shine the audacity i love that that was good Man, oh, well you. done Thank you. You know, besides, JC, the weight on the shoulders of the black community, what's even more profound to me is the joy we exude, and that's what you'll hear in this album. They're even turning it into a curriculum for schools, so that is much needed and incredible. So that, I'm yeah. really proud of them. That's great. Great stuff. And then the album actually came out at midnight, so yeah. it's, it's available on all streaming platforms. It is, and yeah, you can find more information, really cool merch like the sweatshirt Dr. B was wearing, and you can even donate to their movement at fireinlittleafrica.com.